Hi, Eric Falkving here. There was a bit of a surprise yesterday, as I suggested that if the uh, SegWit 2x agreement in Bitcoin is not upheld in both ends, as in if the 2x part is renegotiated, then SegWit can also be rolled back and should be rolled back by miners, since the agreement as a whole was not upheld. This caused a bit of surprised reactions that you can't do that it cannot be done it cannot technically technically be done and 140 characters is a little bit short to explain how but it can be done quite trivially because ah thank you so much because since segwit was introduced as a soft fork that means that we can also ease out of it just by reverting to the previous software which is compatible with the, the SegWit software. We have two classes of software here that are interesting the miner software and the wallet or transaction analysis software. Let's take them one by one and lo let lo let's look at three points on the timeline. T0 before SegWit was introduced, T1 where SegWit is active, T2 where SegWit is being phased out and T3, where SegWit has been phased out. We agree that in T0 and T3, the rules of the network are the same. Now, for a miner, a miner is only concerned with three blocks. B the blo a block height minus one to validate the block at block height in order to construct the block at block height plus one. Those are the only three blocks mining software is really interested in. And by induction, it assumes that since it has followed this process all the way from the start and the Genesis block is valid, so the entire chain must be valid. The interesting little exception here is the UTXO set. But that doesn't change from SegWit addresses. It just happens that they're marked anyone can spend in a very weird way. So these SegWit rules must be applied in terms of integrity of the network through, fa through an entire facing one of SegWit, facing out of SegWit through T2. I would propose if one were to face out SegWit that one first announced a 30 day grace period for SegWit transactions during which everything was normal, another 60 days where money could only be moved out of SegWit addresses and after that a complete lockdown, no further addresses allowed. Miners of course are at complete discretion what transactions to include and exclude from blocks. So this is fully possible. And there would be miners loyal to Blockstream who wanted these transactions to be included, but they would quickly find their blocks orphaned. So that is not a problem. So we can observe that for miner software, before SegWit at T0, a certain rule set applied. We can call it the pre-SegWit. During, during SegWit, T1, we have a SegWit rule set that applies. And the pre-SegWit software is compatible with the, so with the SegWit rules since SegWit was introduced as a soft walk. This is crucial. This is absolutely crucial. Now, during the phase out, there will be a bit of special rules as to what, what to include and not. And in T3, when everything, when no more SegWit transactions are allowed, the entire rule set will be as if it never changed. All transactions through the entire timeline, T0, T1, T2 and th T3, will adhere to the pre-SegWit rules, since SegWit was rolled out as a soft fork. This leads us to the second class of Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin software, transaction chain analyzers and wallets. They can, be, they can perfectly happily apply pre-SegWit rules, those that applied at T0 once T3, T3 rolls around and nothing will ever have, 
with no adverse effects whatsoever. So this notion that you have to rearrange the entire chain if you were to revert and roll back SegWit is absolute nonsense. You can argue that it would be a hard fork, you could argue that it would be this or that name, but semantics doesn't matter here. It is absolutely technically doable without any hazard since SegWit was rolled out to be backwards compatible with the transaction system already in place. Now, whether you should do this, that's another, that's another issue altogether, of course. I would argue that it could be quite reasonable to roll back the first part of the agreement if the second part is not upheld. And so, obviously, it would not have wide support among the, uh, among the Blockstream, cr Blockstream crowd. But support doesn't really matter here. Only honor to roll back an, uh, an agreement not upheld among those who struck the agreement, which arguably weren't a lot of users. So will this happen? I don't think it'll happen. I'm fairly confident SegWit2x will roll around. I'm not sure SegWit2x will be the dominant chain in the future. It might as well be Bitcoin Cash. I don't think Seg SegWit1x stands a snowball's chance in hell to survive. But that's all. I mean, that's all to read in the tea leaves. Speaking of which, I have British afternoon tea here, which I'm going to enjoy quite now. Anyway. My point is, if you want to roll back SegWit, there's absolutely no need to reorganize and wipe out the entire chain of two and a half, no, three and a half months of transactions. You only need to revert the rule set gradually to what it was, because all the transactions in the meantime will be valid in that rule set. Cheers.